I'm going to show you really quickly how to set up a subdomain using the Namecheap basic DNS. So that means that you haven't sent your DNS off to a web hosting provider. You're just using the Namecheap DNS. So let's jump into it here from your dashboard, find the domain. I'm just going to select any one of my domains and click manage. And then come to advanced DNS and do note, we're using the basic DNS here at Namecheap. And then you'll come here, you'll see the host records. Now let's add records for the subdomain. And we're gonna add an A record. And then for the host, we're going to put in whatever our subdomain is. So let's just call it sub, right? Sub.mydomain.com is what this would be for. And then for IP address, well, we're gonna put in the IP address of our server. Uh, you know, typically this is gonna be the same as what you're using for the root, but in some cases it might be different depending on how complex you're doing. I'm just gonna take this one here because that is where we host our subdomains on the same server, put that in place. Now, by doing this, by just putting in sub, it's not going to handle the www dot. So we have to do this again for the www dot. And we're just gonna put in www dot, three Ws, sub, and then again, put that in there. Now, once you click, uh, once you click the check mark and save it, it'll take some time, but eventually it'll propagate and sub dot and www dot sub will both resolve to this external server here. So that is how you set up a subdomain to an external server in Namecheap, guys. Uh, if you have any feedback, thoughts, or questions, drop them in the comments somewhere around this video. Otherwise, hey, if you're looking for more digital marketing insights, check out my Facebook group, the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group. I share a lot of in-depth experience and tutorials, uh, including experiments with my own ad spend. So on that note, guys, I'm signing off. I'll see you on the other side.